Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex Martinez and today I am going to show you the differences for creating M units using Curitech AI or using Cursor AI. First of all, let me show you something really quick. So this is my project. This is a main flow where we receive a queue, we process uh, some variables, we do the until successful and we have a flow ref inside the until successful. If everything went well, it will be published to the second queue and an acknowledgement from the queue one. If there was an error, it will come here to the on error propagate and it will generate a, or call a knack to the queue one so it can try again. Now, if we go here inside of my process API HR flow, which is this one, here we can see very clearly that we have three different scenarios that can happen. The first of all is a happy path. So if it arrives here in the request and everything went well, it will create a successful response. If there was a connectivity error with the HR API call, it will come here to the on error propagate and it will just like tell you that it's a connection error. And because we saw that it was surrounded by an until successful, it will just uh, keep trying until the retries are exhausted. And the third scenario is if we come here to the owner continue, because let's say for example, that it was a bad request or something like that. So it was not a connectivity error. It actually connected to the HR API call, but it received an error back. So it will come here and generate an error response. So there are different things that we have to test so first is the main flow where it will come here, um, check that uh, everything here is processed. And then like if there is an connectivity error, the until successful will keep happening. If it is not able to connect, it will come here to the owner propagate and do the NAC. If this is successful, it either received a successful response or a bad request it will come here and publish everything to the queue or acknowledge um, and acknowledge that the queue one was processed. So there are different ways that we can go to this. In Curie, because we have to select one flow, we can maybe do two different tasks, one for each flow and see what happens. So let's start with the MUnit test generator. Let's go ahead and upload our project. I'm going to enable coverage and I am going to select at most three MUnit scenarios. I have Java 17, Maven 3.9, and I am going to select the main flow first. So I'm going to submit that test. And while that is happening, I can come back here home, click on MUnit test generator, select again. There's my project, enable coverage. I'm going to select again at most three MUnit scenarios. Everything is the same, but now I am going to select the HR API call subflow. So I'm going to submit that. Now, if everything goes well, these two tasks will generate the 100% coverage for my whole project. It's really cool because I didn't actually say anything to it. Like I didn't have to explain anything. Um, let's just see what it generates. For the first task, we can already see that there's an MUnit scenario generated. So if we take a look at the details, we have test scenario one, happy path, where a message is received from MQ, blah, blah, blah. And the message is acknowledged. In test scenario two, uh, the HR API call fails with a connectivity error. And it's going to trigger like the until successful and all of that. And it will end up in a knack from the original queue, which is, yeah, what we were expecting. And if we take a look at the second task, we can already see that the MUNIT scenarios were generated. So let's take a look. One, two. Okay, the test scenario one tests the happy path where the HR API uh, request is successful and everything is great. And then the second one uh, throws a connectivity error and returns an error response, but it is missing the third scenario where the HTTP request is actually like another error that is not a connectivity error. But don't worry, we can fix that by adding more nodes to it. So after two minutes, it already generated my unit scenario. It might take longer um, depending on a lot of factors, but Two minutes is really cool. Um, and here I can see that it generated, again, this is my main flow. 
It generated two tests, both of them passed, and my coverage is 90%, which makes a lot of sense because it is not checking um, the third scenario where there's not a connectivity error and something else happens, but that's okay because we will fix that. So here's the first scenario, the second scenario, and it explains again everything that happened. Here you can see the mUnit flows, um, the whole test suite. So you can download this whole thing and you can just apply it to your project. We can also see here that it also generated some sample data of what should be happening in the backend. And our second task is completed after three minutes, 38 seconds. Again, really cool. Um, and it generated, as I said, the two tests. And this is 27% from the whole application because this is just a subflow. And that is fine. So we see the test scenario one, the test scenario two. We can also see here that it generated the whole XML with everything. But now we know that it is not generating the three scenarios for us. That is totally fine. Let's just upload my project again, enable coverage at most three. And now we're going to add some notes to this. So this flow is going to be the HR API call. So these are my notes, generate three different test case scenarios, one happy path where the HR API call was successful, two connectivity error from the HR API call, three bad request error or any other error from the HR API call, which will result in the on error continue error handler and will create an error response. So we have the HR API call, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and submit. So while that happens, let's go ahead and download the two that we know that we want. So let's just download the generated code. So it generates a zip file that you can extract, and then you will be able to see here the generated, which is everything that came from what we can see online here. So if I come here, I can just go to test M unit, and I can take a look at my search test M unit flows. So I can simply put this here. There we go. And then inside resources, we will just copy everything that is here inside resources. And now we can run maybe clean test. I know that technically we can use like the testing um, part from any point code builder, but I have been having issues with that. That is my problem. I don't know why it's happening to me, but um, I can run them with Maven in the command line. So don't worry about that. In the meantime, we can take a look at the scenario that was already generated here. So scenario one, happy path, scenario where the HR API call is successful and returns a valid response. Scenario two, where the HR API call fails due to a connectivity error, triggering the on error propagate handler. Scenario three, scenario where the HR API call fails due to a bad request or any other error, triggering the on error continue handler and creating an error response. So the behavior here, we can see that it's gonna mock the HTTP request connector to throw a non-connectivity error, for example, HTTP bad request or any other error, which is exactly what we wanted. And while this is happening here, we can go back to our repo and we can see that it indeed generates a 90.91% that Curitech was telling us that would happen. And this one took six minutes, 13 seconds, but that is completely fine because it was generating three instead of two. So we have the three scenarios, the test passed and everything looks good. Um, here we can see that the coverage is 30, 36%, which is again expected. So now let's generate the code. Let's extract it and let's go ahead and put it where it's supposed to be. So source test and unit flows. This is the second one and then resources. And again, I'm just going to copy the whole thing into resources. So now let's run this again using Maven clean tests. And now we can see that we have the 100% application coverage. Honestly, this was like super easy to do. It only took me like less than half an hour to generate the 100% coverage in my whole thing. And I just had to generate a second task once because it generated two tests instead of three, but that's fine. I just added the notes for the next task and it generated exactly what I wanted. That is really cool. I give it a hundred out of a hundred. 
and I would really recommend you try it out. I will put this um, repo in my GitHub so you can take a look at it. But now let's try a little bit of cursor and see what happens with that. All right, so I'm just going to discard all my changes. Cool. So now we're going to start again from scratch. M unit is empty. Resources is empty. So let's go ahead and open our M unit flow. And let's start in the main and let's see what cursor can do with this. Let's start by asking something really generic and see if it can make it. Generate M unit tests to have 100% coverage. So it's trying to generate a new test file for the main flow um, for both success and error scenarios, but it is having some issues with it. So it's uh, trying to fix some things that are happening there. I feel like it's stuck, but to be fair, I'm going to start the stopwatch because um, we did give like a few minutes to Curie. So let's see what happens. Um, oh, okay. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. I was trying to put the stopwatch and then I did that. Anyway, that's good because like this working. Okay, let's try this again. Let's send this again and click on continue and revert. And now I'm going to add a stopwatch. Okay, so starting, let's see what happens. It is also worth mentioning that I am using the business account for cursor now. So now I'm not on the free account. Like I actually have some power now. So let's see. Uh, I think it's trying to fix some errors because uh, I don't see anything here, even though I see there is some code. Oh, okay. Okay. I can see it's generating a flow. What? Uh, okay. It's been, uh, two minutes, two minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna stop this now. I am very confused. Um, this is a flow. This is another flow. This is another flow. Like these are just flows. Uh, what? Uh, this is like not gonna run at all. Okay, let's reject everything <laughs> that it did. All right, so let's tell it generate a unit test to be able to cover the different test case scenarios from the Mule app. One, happy path where the HRAPI call was successful. Two, connectivity error from the HRAPI call resulting in a NAC. Three, bad request error or any other error from the HRAPI call, which will generate an error response, but won't result in a NAC. It will actually result in ACK like the happy path. Make sure to mock all the external calls like the HRAPI call or the AnyPointMQ calls because you cannot assume that Cursor is going to know because uh, Cursor is not like specific to MuleSoft as opposed to Curie because like for Curie, I didn't have to tell it to mock stuff because it just knows about it. All right, and I'm going to start a new stopwatch now. I need more coffee. Uh, I feel like, okay, so like, okay, first of all, um, here's the thing. It's been seven minutes. I even went for coffee and everything. I'm going to stop it. So we have the happy path. Um, Mocks a successful HRAPI response, mocks the anypoint MQ publish operation, the ACK operation, and then the connectivity error test, mocks an HTTP connectivity, mocks the NAC, verifies the flows, handle this, the error, bad request error, mocks a bad request from the HRAPI, mocks the publish, mocks the ACK, and verifies blah, blah, blah. Okay. So each test case sets up the initial event, mocks all the external calls, verifies the behavior uh, to run these tests. I already have this, um, maybe in clean tests. Okay. But I see a lot of errors though. Like what, what is this? Um, why is there an error? Uh, there's like a bunch of errors. And what's this? Like, there's just a, an assert true. 
<laughs> like what are you what are you even testing here brah is this like a certain not null or something and this is unknown unknown uh and like you don't have to do what are you doing um no, uh, this is like a huge waste of my time. I have to tell it. Like, <laughs> no, not using best practices. Um, no, let's just stop. Okay, so pretty much what we're seeing here is uh, Curitac is generating the M units beautifully. Um, it does take like um, a few tries, but like what, like six minutes, three minutes, two minutes, like I think it pretty much makes sense if you don't have to give a lot of direction to it. Like I only had to give direction to this one and I only used like three sentences or something. So like, <laughs> like this makes a lot of sense. I would definitely use Curie for my M units anytime. Um, but Cursor, like, I feel like, okay, I feel like Curie is like a senior developer that already knows um, what to do. And maybe you just have to give it some mild direction on like, okay, you missed this though. And they're going to be like, oh yeah, you're right. And then like, bang, here it is. But like Cursor is like an intern kind of a thing where you have to tell it exactly what to do or like, I mean, like, what what are you even doing here? Like, this is not even running. This is not, this, this doesn't even work. I'm not even going to try to run it because this clearly have, has a ton of issues. Like, it needs a lot of direction. Maybe in the future, Cursor is going to be ready for M units. Um, but right now, like, M units are so specific. And I doubt that a lot of people use them, even MuleSoft developers. So there's not a lot of information for a cursor to see out there in the internet. So it makes sense that it's struggling with it. Um, so nope, uh, <laughs> cursor definitely cannot handle M units. Uh, this, this was just awful. Um, I would advise you to just go to Curie. All right, well, you saw it. You can try it. I will put my repo with the tasks from Curie out there if you want to check them out and verify that they are actually good. But like, just go ahead and try it. It's free. Just go to curietech.ai and try it. Um, try it out by yourself. Let me know if you make it work and what you did. Um, and I'm I'm just really happy with Curie. Like we saw data we've already. Now we're seeing M unit. This is just awesome. So we'll see how it works for further tasks. All right, that is all for this video. I will see you in the next video where we keep trying AI tools to make your life better. Bye.